Jamie Lucky, Clarence Armstrong, and Ramey Steins, our officiating crew. Clarence Armstrong with the ball in hand. Keve Aluma and Jalen Withers jump center, and off we go. Wabisa Beatty gave it up for Keve Aluma. Going off the window from the angle on an average of 16. He's got the first points. And that's been a Louisville problem early in the season, turning the ball over way too much. Beatty not known as a scorer, but he connects, and the Hokies have the first five. Yeah, only a 25% three-point shooter for the rookie. Justin Mutz banks one in. What a start for Virginia Tech. The first eight for the Hokies. Oh, Mutz no. wants another. He's <laughs> got another. An 11-0 start for Virginia Tech. Samuel Williamson missed it. Dre Davis got to the loose ball and finds Withers for two plus a foul. And the first points for Louisville about three minutes in. Withers off the bounce and he's got five for Louisville. Withers already matching his point output against Boston College Saturday. Off the turnover. Here's Jones in the open court, and it's seven in a row for the Cardinals. Now Naheem Aline, and another pass taken away. Carly Jones end to end, and it's nine in a row for Louisville. Well, the first 11 belongs to Virginia Tech, but Carly Jones and the Cards defense on the way back with nine in a row. Now Tyrese Radford gives it up. Cone in the mid-range for two. Chris Mack said we got to be very cognizant of where Jalen Cone is because they will run him off a lot of screens trying to get him free. And Louisville cuts it to three with a triple from beyond the arc. Tyrese Rafford, I think, didn't think he was going to shoot the ball. He was so far beyond the three-point line. And right on cue, we show you the Louisville defense. Jones with another steal and the lay-in for Quinn Slazinski. And so Keve Aluma was not available last year, so automatically he became the best player. <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe there was some truth to that because he's the best player this year. And certainly capitalized on the sit-out year and his comeback. Mike Young likes to be in the ballpark of eight or nine on average, like a lot of coaches would love. Slazinski gives Louisville its first lead. Nickelberry on the step back. Yes, sir. Whoa. I think the teammates are going to love this handle from Nickelberry. Losing Jalen. I think the teammates are going to love that handle that set up the shot for Nickelberry. How about the block from Withers? He's doing a great job coming and helping Slazinski. They're trying to back him in. And that was their longest pause in 54 years. Wake Forest, they had a, a pause of more than a month as well. It's been that sort of year in college basketball with all the stops and starts. Third chance for Louisville. Andre Davis got it out of there. Nickelberry for three. Williamson drives and in the mid-range can't hit. Rebound Radford. The Radford is a guy who can take the ball and take it to the basket. And I think he really needs to try to do that. Well, this time it was Jalen Cohn with the open look. Pick and pop, Radford missed it. Nearly an offensive rebound, and it is tracked down by Tyrese Radford in attack mode for two. His season debut, he's been hampered by a knee issue. Matched up with J.J. Trainer, a foul and a bucket. Nickelberry came in with five points off the bench. They've had a boost as well from Quinn Slazinski, and now Dre Davis sticks one from the corner. He hustles to get to the loose ball. Let's see if Aleem can get involved now. Here's Cone. Got it. Aluma off the shot bait, got by Withers to the rim. That's one of the things that Aluma can do very well. I'm surprised that nobody from Louisville was able to step in and at least try to take the charge. Withers got an easy two, and Aluma was barking at someone defensively for a breakdown. Got some help that time from Slazinski. 
Shot clock is winding down, so Jalen Cohn rises up for another. And Jalen Cohn's got 11 for Virginia Tech. Withers got a Luma in the air. A pretty move from Jalen Withers. And that's the point. He missed it over Withers. Withers did a nice job keeping him away from the basket, forcing a tough hook shot. And now Carly Jones does what he does. Back iron, rebound, tipped ahead to the Cardinals. Withers in the open floor, lays it in, and the foul for Jalen Withers. What a play that was. Cone. No dice, offensive rebound and put back, plus the foul for Justin Mutz. You see six points for Carly Jones. Well, the Hokies have actually done a pretty nice job containing Jones. They've had no answer for Withers. And here come the Hokies. Nahima Lean back into the game with a much needed two for tap. Well, you said you got to turn it up on D if you're Virginia Tech. They've got a few stops and a few Louisville misses here the last few possessions. Aline trying to carve out space. Wow, he got that to go. He got the foul early on in the conference season. Johnson hoists and hits, and that looks just like the guy that we saw in the first half at Boston College on Saturday from three. Well, he made one. He made one exactly like that in the first half. And if you're Naheem Aline, you got to get out there and guard him. And then Code connects, and he got fouled. Oh, poked away. Withers just took it right from Aline. Why not? He's done everything else. Jones in the mid range. And he's out there as Virginia Tech does go four round one because remember, Justin Mutz has four fouls for the Hokies. Naheem Aline off the window to cut it to an eight point margin. Radford gives it up, and Aline's got two more. And Naheem Aline is into double figures now with 11. A pair of one-loss teams here at the KFC Yum Center. Carly Jones in front of his own bench for three. Got his hands on another one there, matched up with Wabisa Beatty. You started the night talking about that matchup. As Aluma stuffs it over the top of Withers, and it's down to a seven-point margin. And now the shot clock below 10 for Jones, throwing the lob up top, and it rolls home for Jalen Withers. Louisville running. Johnson hanging in the air off the window. The rebound and the push in a nine-point game with eight to go in the second half in Louisville. Cone rising and connecting, and it's down to six. Just like last year, he's got five threes against Louisville. He's five of nine from deep with 18 points. That rolled off with the follow for Dre Davis with his left hand. They're in position where they can win this game. They can just make some plays. They couldn't get the rebound. Slazinski could, and he followed it up with two to stretch the lead back to eight. Allowed Slazinski the chance to slide in there. That's another basket by Slazinski just hustling. Wow, what a shot by Jalen Cohn. His body was still twisting in the air when he released it. Virginia Tech down by five. They're sure glad they brought him with them. Jones attacking right at Aluma. In for Carly Jones. Seven point game. Naheem Alin has had a great second half and he's got two more on the baseline. And the loose ball to Cohn. Two minutes to go, Katora on the push, and the roll. Jalen Cohn trying to slip it back to Aluma, and a foul. Aluma had Jones on him. Couture driving, Couture gets it to go, count it, and a foul. And a chance to make it a one possession game. The two 2-0 two teams in ACC play at the top of the conference early on. Johnson out of a trap, the lob up top, nearly went down for Weathers. He's got it with Wabisa Beatty on him defensively. Shot clock is at six for Carly Jones. Driving and he's stripped by Beatty. For Keve Aluma, 
who has been the star for Virginia Tech so far in the first nine games, and he's good on the first. Good on the second, as this second half has wore on. Jalen Withers grabs some headlines early, but Carly Jones and David Johnson have been terrific. Luma the rebound. Couture on the push. In the final seconds, Couture! Oh, he missed it! Louisville hangs on and wins by two at home. 